Hello friends, welcome to Geeky Rabbit. Welcome to our series on JMeter. So we all know that how to pick values from external file and use it in our JMeter script with the help of the CSV data config option. But now let us also see that how we can do it using the Winchell scripting. So for doing so, let us begin by opening the JMeter console. So before uh, open the JMeter console, I have prepared a txt file here. So in here, suppose I have written few values. So I have given some site names in here, which will be uh, which will be picking up using the Beanshell scripting, and then we will be passing it to an HTTP request. So we are going to achieve this. So let us do that. So now we in here any test data you can specify as per your script that you need to pick from external file. So for now I have given the URL names. So what we'll do is we'll just go in here. And we'll quickly add the third group first. Now in here, we will have to add the sampler, that is the bean shell one. Okay, and now as we will be picking the values from bean shell sampler, and then we'll be putting it to an std, passing it to an std sampler, just add in an std sampler as well. Okay, so now this is done, and now it's time to add one of oh, listener. So let us add a listener to view our results and now in here so here is something called as function dialog box so just click on here so we will be using a function so that function name is string form file so this is the function we have to select this and in here we have to give the part of the uh, file from where we need to pick the values so this is we'll copy this part so we'll obtain the path of the file. This is the path. And let us put in here, and we'll also have to attach the test file name. Yeah, so now the path is entered in here, and we just have to click on this generate. So once you click, a function syntax is being given by Gmeter itself, and we can use it directly. So we have to just copy this part. So for any function, if you need to generate this syntax, just come in here and we will have we have to just select the function and do the necessary things. So more info can be found about that function in help here. So as we have got this string, just copy this whole string and close this function dialog box. So now we will enter it here. So we can remove, this, ignore this. Yeah. And now as we have to pass it to an HTTP request, so some variable we need to put in here. So we will put a dollar variable. So the variable name is URL. And we will have to pass the values one by one to this variable in here. And then the HTTP request should uh, execute. So in this, we will, what we will do? We will use vats dot put command. And then we will take the URL. So this is, we will take this in this particular variable value from in here and this we have to do like this okay so what we have done is whatever the values are there in this test data.txt we are extracting them one by one using the string from file function and we are putting it into a variable name as url which we will be using in our http request so now as we know that in our test data file there are four data so there are four urls just let me open it first. So there are four URLs. So first of all, this will be picking the values one by one. So in order to run it four times, we'll have to put this bean shell sampler and HTTP request into a loop. So let's add a loop in here first. Mm. Okay, logic controller and first of all, loop controller. And we'll make it, we will have to add this bean shell to this loop and this HTTP also to this loop. In loop controller, we'll give us four as we are having four years. So the number which we give in here exactly that many times this Beanshell sampler and HTTP request will run. Okay, so all the things have been done, and now it's time to run our program. So we'll just clear the previous. Let's close this test data file. Okay, and now just run it. It will ask you to save, but it is for it is okay if you don't save it. Now you can see the execution is in progress. And now you can see the first bean shell sampler ran. And it picked up the value of 
the first line and it inserted into this URL and then it passed to the HTTP request. So the HTTP request to google.com was successful. Then in second, you can see it picked up the value from Facebook and it is being passed to this HTTP request. And similarly, the value for this BHL sampler, it has been picked tools QA and that has been passed to this subsequent HTTP request. And lastly, it has been, uh, since it has extracted the blazemeter.com value, and it has passed to this HTTP request. So in this way, uh, we can read file from an external file also. So now, uh, this we are extracting one by one. So now suppose if we want to extract the whole values in one go. So in that case, what we need to do is, so like suppose I'm having this. So there can be cases when we have to extract all this value in one go. So for that, what we have to do is, We'll just first of all we'll disable this HTTP request first, uh, and we will see that if, uh, how it is picking in BHL itself. Now again, loop controller we don't need it, so we can remove it. Okay, the whole thing got removed. Okay, we can do one thing. We can start again. So first thing we will be adding is the BHL sampler. Okay, and we will also need one config element that is user defined variable. So user in user defined variable, first of all, we'll specify the path of the file. So I guess the path of the file we need to copy again. Okay, so we'll path this, copy this path, put in here and we'll add the test data dot txt. Okay, so the path variable is set. And now in BHL sampler, so we will have to just add this particular script. So I'll explain what this script is. Let's copy this here. So now using this buffer reader, we are reading the file, which is here in this path. So this path we have already provided in here. So it will read the uh, file, which is kept at this path. Then the counter is initialized to one. And in content, we are reading the content of the first line. So file reader will help us to read the line and uh, then it will continue to run in the loop. So in next line, it will take the content of the next line and it will go on until it becomes null. So it will go on until the end of file. And then it will, in by using this content, so it will keep on appending the content of the next lines by inserting one new line. So this backslash n will represent a new line. So the content is copied from uh, the file and it is continuously uh, appended in this content variable. And accordingly, the counter is increasing. And once the counter is increasing, then it goes to the next line and runs the same logic again. And now lastly, when it reaches the end of file, that is not equal to null. So this condition will see, once it reaches the end of file, then it will stop. And now, Using this where put, we are putting all this content into a variable named as content, and then we are passing this to x. So we will get this in the bean shell output. So where's that get will get the content, whatever the final content will be there after running this whole loop, and then we'll see what we get. So just clear out the first result, and now let us run it once again. So the Binchel sampler ran and now the request went in. So whatever we have written in the Binchel sampler, that will be our request. And if we'll see the response data, it has brought us all the data from that file. So whatever the content that we have given, so that will be picked in only one go and all that will be printed in here. So we can put this into another variable and then we can again pass this to any request or something that if we need. So in this way, we can use this Binchel scripting also to pick up the values from external files. Or in other words, we can say that we can read data from external file using the Binchel scripting. So hope you have liked the content and do let us know about it by posting all your questions, suggestions in the comment section below. So see you soon with more geometry related content. Until then, have a great time. Thank you.